There are many stereotypes about the Czech population. Czechs, as a nation, like to watch ice hockey and cheer the national team. During world championships, everyone suddenly becomes an expert in this sport. It works similarly during elections, when common people turn into political scientists overnight. It is also known that Czechs enjoy heavy meals and are the world's number one beer drinkers. It doesn't have to be only beer. Wine or plum brandy called Slivovice are also very popular, especially in the Moravian region. After all, Czechs like alcohol in general, and it happens very often that someone gets drunk. Maybe that's why there are numerous ways of describing the state with the help of idioms. There is a scale of drunkenness. If someone is drunk only a little bit, we can say that he is nametenej, namazanej, or pitslej. The original meaning of the word nametenej has a connection with a broom, since the verb mest means to sweep. On the other hand, a person who is namazanej in the original sense of the term uses some kind of cream, and that's why he is lubricated. The word pitslej comes from the interjection pits, meaning something like bang. So essentially, we can say he is shot. A person who is more drunk can have a monkey. Of course, they do not actually have a monkey sitting on their back. But when we say ma opici about someone, every Czech will understand that the person is drunk. Also, we can be drunk as a pig, cattle, or a mastiff because prase, dobitek, and even doga are often associated with this kind of condition. Someone can be zlitej, which means covered with some kind of liquid or just soaking wet. Another person can meet na kupeno, literally meaning that they have just returned from some shop with all the things they needed to buy there. I don't really know how it is possible, but we have the most expressions for the worst grade of drunkenness. You can be pod obraz, na šrot, na mraky, jak zákon káže, or choose from an infinite number of other possibilities which no one could ever complete a list of. If we try to translate these options, pod obraz would be under a picture, na šrot is scrap-like, na mraky is clouds-like, and jak zákon káže should mean as the law preaches. There is no logical connection between the original meaning and drinking alcohol. That's just the way it is in the Czech language. Well, as you can see, there are many ways to get drunk. Everyone can pick whatever they prefer, but in my opinion, the best choice is to drink only donality, which means just to improve your mood, and then stop. Never trust friends who say pojď na jedno pivo, because one beer is never just one, and donality could easily turn into something else going hand in hand with the nightmare called kocovina, which means a hangover. It could easily happen to you that you go to the pub with your Czech friends and come back with a monkey.